Hello everybody and welcome to the next attempt to play uh, video session. We are now going to be playing a very old school game and considered one of the most classic and greatest video games of all time. Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. Now I'm playing this because, um, well, it's definitely a challenge for somebody of my generation who plays modern games. This game, no hand-holding. I know nothing about this game. Uh, you know, where to go and stuff story-wise. Um, I know the basic controls, I looked them up, so I have that, but uh, this is going to be one of the greatest challenges of my time. And can a person in the year 2012 play a game from way back in the day with no hand-holding and somehow get through it? We're going to find out. So let's initiate a new game. I think by pressing I, I'll call myself Zach. Enter. I'm a man. Let me give the game a second. Okay, right, the story. Uh, the day is warm, yet there is a cooling breeze. Hmm. Yet this afternoon, walk in the country, side slowly brings relaxation to your hair and mind. The soil and strain of modern high-tech living begins to wash off in layers. The buzz of dragonflies and the whisper of the willow's swaying branches brings a deep peace. A high-pitched cascading sound like crystal wind chimes impinges on your floating awareness as you open your eyes. It's difficult to look at the blue blueness. Light seems to... <laughs> it's like when Spoonie was like, in Ultimate 9, Purple wrong! It's actually, yes, the moon gates are blue. I know that from just reading wikis. The portal hangs there for a moment, then with the rush of an implant vacuum, it sinks into the ground. Okay, so some weird stuff's going on. I'm hanging out in a field and there's this portal. Somewhat shaken by this vision, you rise to your feet to investigate. You pick up an amulet shaped like a cross. Oh, the Ankh, yeah. It's like the symbol of the Avatar. Um, with trembling hand, you unwrap the book. Ooh, behold, the cloth is a map. This is getting interesting. I don't need fancy graphics. The script on the cover of the first book, uh, The History of Britannia, is told by Kyle the Younger. The tongue of the title is beyond your keen. You dare not open the book and disturb whatever sleeps within. You read the book history? Um, for time's sakes, no, you guys can read it. No, really, read the book of history. I'm, I don't like to read. Closing the book, you again pick up the ankh. As you hold it, you begin to hear a haunting, familiar, lute-like sound. Oh, a valley. Hmm, looks like a carnival's going on. Traveling carnival, but a renaissance fair. The ticket to take it, the blah, blah. Okay, so I'm going to this fair. Hanging out. Beautiful music. It's lovely. Ah, through the gathering dusk, you see a secluded gypsy wagon. Now, I know the gypsy. I played Ultima 9. You're going to find old gypsy sitting in a small curtained room. Oh, she's also wearing an onk. Interesting. Ooh, I shall read the path of your future. Alright, now I know this part. You got to decide make these choices and it like determines your class <sighs> okay this is the fun part of Ultima honesty and honor there was sworn to protect the Lord at any cost yet thou commanding he hath committed a crime authorities ask thee of the affair does thou break thine oath by honesty speaking or uphold honor um B I would uphold my honor Valor, and what else? Humility. Consider this. Although a teacher of music, thou art a skillful wrestler, thou has been asked to fight in a local championship. Does thou accept the invitation? Oh yeah, I'm taking that. I'm Valor, man. I usually go with either Valor. I'll go with Valor, probably. Justice. And spirituality. Thou just believe that virtues reside in all people. Thou dost see a rogue steal from thy lord. Does thou call him to justice? Or... No, you, you tell the lord. What's wrong with you? Hmm, let's see here. Compassion. I always enjoyed the Ultimate Series in there. Different virtues. Okay. Thee and thy friends have been routed in order to retreat. In defiance of thy orders, does thou stop in compassion to aid a wounded companion of sacrifice? Ooh, this is tough. I would probably try to help him. I don't think I'd sacrifice myself. Oh, we're coming down to the to the wire here. Now between valor and honor, oh boy. 
During battle thou art ordered to guard thy commander's empty tent. The battle goes poorly, and thou dost yearn to aid thy fellows. Dost thou lead to the battle? Mm. I would actually be a guard, probably. I think it's the best choice. Of course, what you would do, I have no idea, so don't, like, ask me. No, ask me. Ask you in the comments. Post it. What, what, what do you think your main virtue is? For 20 years thou hast found the slayer of thy best friend. The villain proves to be a man who provides the sole support for a younger girl. No, I'm slaying him. I'm sorry. The little girl can find an orphanage and she'll, she'll, she'll figure it all out. <laughs> That's going to be between what? Justice and honor. This is it. Thou hast sworn to do thy lord's bidding in all. He gives a piece of land and orders the owner removed. Does thou so justice refusing to act? Honor thine oath. I'm going with justice. Looks like I'm going with justice. That path is chosen. There's a moment of intense wrenching vertigo as you open your eyes. A voice whispers within your mind. Seek the counsel of thy sovereign. So I need to find Lord British, basically. That sounds like that's it. And we're finally playing the game. Huzzah. So I guess we go in here. E is for enter. Yep, I got it right. I can talk to people with T. You meet a druid. Your interest? Name. I think that's how you play it. Like, you have to type in keywords. Like, this game has no hand holding. I am Dweep. Dweep. I'm Dweep. Well, Dweep, you're retarded. How do I exit out of a conversation? T? I don't know. Just escape? Nope. Uh. Uh, see, this is what I'm talking about here. Um, let's just do job. Welcome to thy city of justice. E? Oh, crap. A? Oh, see, look at this. We just started the game. Oh, wait, we're to say goodbye. Oh, that's, yeah, I figured it out. Ah, this game is clever. These old games are just so ahead of their time. Alright, uh, really annoying little ticking noise, whatever. Dry goods. How much money? I have 200 gold. Can I buy stuff? Welcome to dry goods. Am I interested in your some reactions? Uh, yes. I think Y for yes. Um, 25 for only, uh, 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 one. No. Okay, I got a little more food on me, but I'm... Why is it 200? Oh, gold's down the bottom. That must be my health. Gold, 200 what? Like, justice talk. You meet a wise judge. Uh, what's your name? Talaford. That's a real name. Well, it's not really a real. I never heard anyone named Talaford, but, uh, job. I decide justice. Uh, Lord British. Oh, uh, you can't even type that much. Wow. British. Um,. Your interest. All I only know is really job and name. I don't really know what else you could type. Uh, quest. Let's try quest. Okay, uh, just buy. Okay, so that's the judge of the city. But is Lord British in the city? I'm confused. Talk. You need a withered form your interest. Uh, name. What's your name? Frida. Uh, what's your job? Well, I can take a guess what your job is. Uh, gold. Um, bye. I don't need any healing. Okay, so maybe... Alright, so obviously I'm in the City of Justice. Um, that's all I really know. What is what is to open a door? I don't, I don't remember. Uh, oh god, this is so... Um, oh, it's, it's O. Hooray! Oh, I'm in the jail. Oh boy, I think we're, I think we're in trouble. Uh oh. Oh, we made a lot of progress on the first episode. We got into the city. And I almost lost talking to somebody, but we're figuring it out. I want to do some fighting. Let's get into the fighting. Okay, so next episode, we're going to go do some fighting. Yeah, old school combat style. Hello there. Uh, name. He is guard, everybody. He is guard. See you next time.